School. Yeah, remember school? It's the place where you go to learn things like math or science, or most importantly, how to draw that cool S. But in Florida, the state whose official dress code is strip club casual, lawmakers have decided that there's some subjects that shouldn't be learned in school. A controversial bill that would ban school districts in Florida from encouraging classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity is advancing. A Florida Senate committee just passed the so-called Don't Say Gay bill. Opponents warn it would lead to further stigmatization of gay, lesbian, and transgender children. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has indicated support for the bill. The Republican says it's not appropriate for teachers to have conversations with students about sexual orientation or gender identity. Yeah, I agree with Ronda Census, right? Kids shouldn't learn that people can be straight or gay in school. We shouldn't teach them that. We should just let them get surprised when they turn 18. What? Two men can do what? Are you? Oh, that's what little Nas X was singing about. I thought he just liked prison. Now, on the one hand, this is terrible because many kids can't talk about gay issues at home. So school could be the one place where they can learn. I mean, I guess on the other hand, this don't say gay law is gonna have some upsides. I mean, it's gonna make it a lot harder for bullies in school. Yeah, because they'll be in the hallway like, you're gay! And then Ron DeSantis is just gonna burst out of a locker like, no, don't say that! You make fun of his haircut. Look at it, looks like he fought a lawnmower. Come on. You know, if you ask me the real issue here is that these people are worried that their kids are gonna learn about being gay and then all of a sudden get converted to gay. That's what the fight is about. Don't teach my kids about gay in school because they're gonna become gay. That's ridiculous. Learning about the thing doesn't magically turn you into the thing. I mean, in school, when I learned about the French, it's not like I came home that day like, Mama, I have something to tell you. Ah, I knew all along, my child. Anyway, let's move on. There's a big story that's coming out of the art world right now. Uh, and if you're one of those people who's like, I don't understand modern art, well, first of all, congratulations on being basic. And second, maybe you should stop complaining and do something about it, like this guy did. A security guard was fired from the job at a Russian museum after drawing eyes on a million dollar painting. I want you guys to look closely at this. The three figures painting had a blank space on the faces. You could see the version on the left, but reports say the security guard got bored, decided to grab a pen and just draw a pair of eyes in two of the three figures. Hold on, hold on. This, this guy defaced a classic painting because he was bored? Like, in a museum, you were bored and so you drew... Like, have you not heard of TikTok? And I know a lot of you basic bitches out there right now are looking at the eyes on this painting. You're saying, that actually does look better. But that's not the point. Art is not about what looks better. Art is about confusing people with a thing that allows you to feel like you are better than them. I... And how do we know that this thing wasn't just a publicity stunt from the museum? Because I don't know about you, but I've never heard of this faceless painting in my life. Now I'm seeing it everywhere. You know, this could just be like a trick. Maybe this is what all museums do just to get hype. Did somebody steal the Mona Lisa's eyebrows? Come see for yourself. And finally, let's move on from one piece of work to another. Donald Johnson & Johnson baby powder Trump. The ex-president most likely to be a surprise judge at a wet t-shirt contest. Yesterday, the government office that keeps presidential records asked the Justice Department to investigate Trump's improper handling of official documents. And like, at this point, I'm wondering if there are any laws that Trump hasn't broken, you know? Like, if, if there was a Guinness Book of World Records for crime, he'd probably steal the book. But yeah, according to reports, Trump would rip up papers after he read them, right? He took boxes of material with him to Mar-a-Lago, and now we're learning that Trump did the most Trump thing that he possibly could have done with some of these documents. We're beginning with breaking news. Staff members at the White House residence discovered wads of printed paper in a clogged toilet on more than one occasion during the Trump administration and believe that it was the former president himself who was trying to flush documents. I learned that staff in the White House residence would periodically find the, the toilet clogged. The engineer would have to come and, and fix it. And what the engineer would find would be wads of, you know, clumped up print, wet printed paper, um, you know, meaning it was not toilet paper. It could be post-its. It could be notes he wrote to himself. It could be other things. We don't know, but it certainly does add, as you said, another dimension to what we know about how he handled material in the White House. 
You know, it's so funny how in every scandal involving Trump and documents, none of them involve him reading them. <laughs> and, 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 and by the way, I will say this. I know it's easy for us to all go, Trump was trying to obstruct justice. That's what this was. But you do remember at the start of the pandemic, there was a shortage of what? And I don't know about you guys, but when there's no toilet paper, state documents start to look mighty tempting. It also does explain why Trump was always complaining about toilets. You, always, you remember how he always did that? People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. Yeah, they're flushing it 10 times, 15 times. No, dude, you were flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, because you were shoving your homework down the toilet. I mean, everyone assumed he was a man who clogged the White House toilets, but no one ever thought we'd have to ask the question, but with what? Now, of course, Trump denies all of this. He says he never clogged any toilets ever. Smoothest poo of all time. So the big question is, who's telling the truth? Well, luckily, we have an exclusive interview with the only man who knows what the truth is. So we're gonna go out live right now to the White House to chat to that man. Sir, I understand that you are the official White House plumber. Hey, that's right. It's a me, Carl Schwartz. How you doing? Uh, well, doing well. Thank you no. so much for joining us, Mr. Schwartz. Uh -huh. um, as the White House plumber, we'd love for you to tell us everything you know about Trump flushing documents down the toilets. All right, let me stop you right there, Chief, okay? Sorry to disappoint you, but I can't. It's the plumber's code. The plumber's code? That's right. It's the iron code all plumbers live by. One, never tell a toilet secrets. Two, always round up the bill. Three, no visible butt crack. I'm trying to break that stereotype. So I'm sorry, but I can't reveal what I know about Trump's toilet, no matter what. Oh, come on. All right, fine, I'll tell you. I was in Trump's bathroom almost every day pulling paper out of the toilet. I unclogged so many classified documents they had to give me top secret clearance. I'm talking CIA briefings, diplomatic cables, the medical experiments that created Rudy Giuliani. Honestly, some of the stuff I didn't understand what it meant. Like, I found this one document that just says nuke Spain, question mark. Oh, wow. Yeah. You must have been pretty frustrated with President Trump giving you so much unnecessary work. Are you kidding me? I love President Trump. He made my job more interesting and he trusted me with our nation's top secrets, unlike certain other presidents who just use the toilet to poop or pee. Obama. I don't know why you said it like that. You could have, you, we knew who the, anyway. Um, let me ask you this. Was Trump the only one in the White House who was flushing documents? Uh, did Vice President Pence do it? No, no, no. Mike Pence never even used the bathroom. He actually doesn't have any holes. Now, if you excuse me, I have an emergency I have to deal with. Kamala Harris been locked in the bathroom for the past year. Oh, wow. Is that where she's been? Well, well good luck with that. And thank you so much, Mr. Schwartz. You got it, Chief. Did he say no holes? Send me $6,000.